Hey everybody, SS Dave here from CompleteEvo3D.com to do a quick how to install a new ROM. If this is your first ROM or if you've gotten somebody to do it for you, you're not too sure. Um, if you're already rooted and you've already been set up and everything, this is just to show you how to install the ROMs. I use Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is ROM Manager. You can go to the market and type in ROM Manager and it's a free application. Uh, I do believe they have a donor version. Uh, this comes up. Um, if you've already installed the ROM, which you can get a lot of them off of the XDA website, uh, find out who you'd like, or you can even install ROMs or download ROMs here. There's a couple there. Usually they're not completely updated. So, anyways, um, if you've already downloaded a ROM, you go to download ROM. I'm sorry, install ROM from SD card. Find out where you downloaded it. Most of them get under download. Here's all the uh, current ROMs I got on here. Uh, I am going to go ahead and install the, this one I just downloaded the other day. Okay, it gives you an option here to wipe down the catch, which is always suggested. A complete wipe is also suggested unless maybe you were going from like a, a version 1.0 three to a version 1.31 well that wouldn't necessarily be needed you won't have to wipe the data and catch and then you can also check mark this one which will back up your current ROM so that if you need to revert to it but I've already done that and that'll just make this a little bit longer so I'm gonna try to speed this up so I got those two hit the OK so press OK to say OK super user comes up allow and off we go. So, at this point, it's just time consuming. Um, it's going to clean out your data and uh, should get this in to refocus, but uh, let me zoom in, I help. So you can see a little bar at the bottom as it's showing its progression, but that's not even 100% because usually uh, it'll finish before it even gets to a full bar. Um, so this will start. It's already um, deleted uh, or cleaned out all my data. Not all my, all my data, my personal data. So I'll have to reset up. Uh, and it's actually installing the ROM now. Uh, this could take you know, uh, two, three to five, six minutes to install. Once it's installed and it reboots, um, it actually can take quite a few more minutes, uh, it, I guess, building the, um, putting it all together or whatnot. So, uh, like I said, it's just a, it's a waiting period. Um, right now I'm going with the uh, Clean ROM Developer Edition 1.2. Again, this is the same way I would um, put any other ROM, Eternity, or um, my UI, or any of that stuff. So, uh, just kind of got to wait it out. I wish I could fast forward it for you, but uh, yeah. So, while we're waiting, if you guys uh, have any ROMs you'd like uh, reviewed on, uh, please uh, don't don't hesitate to comment. Uh, let me know if uh, there's something I've been leaving out of my videos you'd like to see. Some other tests I'm not aware of. I, I do my uh, lint pack and sometimes do the quadrants. Uh, I guess flashing uh, kernels has gotten a little uh, more difficult because of uh, 2.3.4 or 2.3.5. Um, but if there's uh, something you guys would like to see just comment and I normally can get to it or if you guys need help with something I'll, I'll do my best to research and, and get you an answer again this kind of seems like it gets stuck or takes a while as you can see there now it's kind of getting a lot of it compiled at once so and there it goes it's going to start the reboot phase If you guys happen to, for whatever reason, get stuck in a boot loop, um, what you can do is take the battery out of your phone, put it back in, hold the volume down key, and the power 
button at the same time. That'll boot your phone into a bootloader. Uh, you go down to recovery and you'll have the manual option to install ROMs that way. Um, Clockwork Mod Recovery kind of made it easy by just going and selecting your ROM and gives you those quick options to install and clean out the data. But it can all be manually done through uh, recovery, which is another way if you have your phone completely booted up and it's a rooted one. That's kind of cool. I like the, turn the blue there. That's kind of cool. Um, if you have a uh, rooted phone, if you hold down the power button and go to restart, it gives you an option to reboot and recovery. That is where you can manually install ROMs or manually clear the data or manually um, back up any of your data. I'm sorry, your whole entire ROM. And if you're switching ROMs like myself, or you just have a game that you're trying not to lose data on, it's not 100% because some ROMs, uh, when you restore the data, you can only restore the app and not the data, uh, but you can use Titanium Backup, which some of these ROMs already come with. Um, I believe the other one is My Backup Root. I'm not exactly sure about that. That's just one I've seen. I haven't used it myself. This is the process that... Uh, after you've installed the ROM, it takes a while. Usually you'll see whoever their, whatever their boot up animation is, it will repeat that over and over and over. It can last uh, several minutes and then it'll finally come up and ask you for Gmail and all that. That's where I'm going to stop the video because I'm just going to log in all my information. Um, but this is basically how you, you start off. Um, let me see, what else? Uh, but once you once it comes up like it is now, you usually you do this and it gives you HTC screen for a little bit longer. It's still running. And uh, once it has done this, it doesn't take this long to boot up every time. Some of them can be anywhere between 8 seconds and 28 seconds to boot up. That's not normal to ask, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and allow that. System tuner. Okay, I remember uh, Scott's ROM saying something about they he added system tuner here, so you can actually uh, change your CPU. There we go. So this is just like you start a brand new phone. You're gonna set up everything like normal. Um, so if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them. Don't forget forget to subscribe and uh, like. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.